This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. When did you first meet these guys in real life? I met Dave, uh, that was at the training camp, uh, but I met Mark, um, I believe it was a Hall of Fame induction, National Wrestling Hall of Fame, and it was the first time I met him, and I, you know, a lot of people thought I looked like him, so. Yeah. You know, first thing I said to him was, hey, I'm your twin, Mark. <laughs> He's like, who the hell are you? <laughs> but uh, I got to meet him at a Hall of Fame uh, when I got inducted, and uh, it was a, a very special treat for me because I, he was the one, more than Dave at the time, that Mark was the guy that I was trying to portray. I studied a lot of film of him, and I loved his technique and, and his athleticism. He was just uh, – he, he, he was a gymnast for a while before he started wrestling, and that attributed to his wrestling career. He was a phenomenal athlete. He was a much better athlete than Dave. Dave was a much better technician. What did um, – when you first become friendly with the Schultz – family what are they telling you about what their training regimen is like their routine is like i mean obviously if you're trying to sort of move up and you want to progress do you want to know hey what did the greats before me do so now that you have access and you're developing a relationship are, are is he sort of mentoring you on uh do more of this do less of that how does he sort of bring you under your under his wing if that makes sense well, Dave allowed me to do whatever I wanted to do. He, he didn't really push me as far as training. He just taught me a lot of good techniques and, and uh, you know, told me some ideas he had of training of what I could do to better my technique and better my performance. But Dave wasn't like a, a trainer that he was like, come on, you know, one more. He was, he was more of a teacher, and uh, that, that's how I looked at him. Talk to me a little bit about um, when you guys start to advance into, hey, we're going we're gonna to do this full time. We're going to become a team. Because I feel like sometimes we uh, who aren't in the amateur wrestling community, we don't understand like what that requirement looks like as f from a time and effort and focus standpoint in order to get to that world-class Olympic level. It's not like you can just go have you know, for lack of a better word, a normal civilian life, you're working a job and you come home to the family and it is a one track focus, right? Oh, without a doubt. You're, you're thinking, you're training, you're doing wrestling 24 seven and uh, everything that you do has to uh, help benefit that sport. So when I woke up in the morning, I trained all day until the evening and I would, I would do about nine to 10 hours of total training. It would have to, a lot to do with conditioning, weight training, plyometrics, uh, working on technique, drilling, live wrestling, uh, the whole ball of wax. And, uh, you know, you, you had to do that every day. Uh, you very seldom did you take a day off. It was a very uh, dedicated regimen. If you wanted to be an Olympian, an Olympic gold medalist, this is the kind of stuff you had to do. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.